What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. It's a beautiful sunny day. There's this big awesome snap-on truck and there's the man. Y'all know what time it is. Let's do it. Come on. Finally, finally, Friday. I'm debt free with a snap on man. <laughs> what you got these big old, that must be one of them tents or something. It is. It's a uh, sun umbrella, what they call it. I, uh, I think the pictures I've seen, they go when they like, come all the way down to the ground and then back up over your top. Not like a regular umbrella. And they oh. got like that. I don't know what they would use some brothers for, but I guess if you're going to the beach, it'd be a good thing. Well, when you're as wide as I am, you need... You need all the shade you can get. We'll go to the beach at <laughs> night time. I still get sunburnt with the moon sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on if it's a full moon or not. And stay inside working all the time. Ah, that sucks, man. So you got to tell everybody what you've done to your wife's phone. Oh, yeah. Well, I was showing Clay while I go. Of course, I don't know how many of you guys out there have TikTok or is addicted to TikTok or whatever, but TikTok is a good app. As long as you're watching the right videos, don't watch the wrong videos, of course. Don't watch the booty girls. <laughs> yeah, don't watch all the booty, booby or booty girls, whichever ones. Uh, but I like, I watch a bunch of the off-roading ones or a bunch of hunting videos, but every now and then you get these educational videos on the iPhone. Uh, and that's what I was showing Clay while ago, how there's a shortcuts app, because the other day, how I seen the app the first time, was I got a new phone and I was like, a bunch of apps was doubled up. So I was going to have to delete a bunch of apps. And I'm like, I don't even know what shortcuts is. So I tried to delete it. <laughs> it wouldn't let me delete the app. So I was like, well, I guess it's a factory app. So I left it on there. I didn't mess with it no more. Well, yesterday watching TikToks, it, uh, the thing, the girl was like, would I plug my phone in that says, hey, how are you doing or something like that? And I was like, like, well, how do you get through that? So I watched the video <laughs> and about how I'm going through the shortcuts app and you can get it to say all kind of stuff. Would you, anything, like for, if you do anything on your phone, you can get it to say something if you want it to. That's if you turn the flashlight on or charge it or anything. But on my wife's phone, last night while she was in the shower, I got her phone, went into it, and when it says, uh, when she plugs it up today, she's gonna be shocked because it, it says, oh yeah, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> So we was playing with it, and I yeah. told Hamilton, I ain't even got my phone with me, but uh, tell him what we set mine up to say. <laughs> Clay's phone, would you plug his up? His little, oh, wrong hole, wrong hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you all what my phone will do if I can get it plugged in here one-handed. Wrong hole, wrong hole. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure I tell my wife, I said, plug my phone up. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm waiting on the phone call for my wife. It's not... She usually plug her, it'd be close, around 2, 2 30, she'll plug her phone up because that's when it goes dead. She don't plug it up at night time, she works, plugs it up at work. So it'd be, uh, and somebody else will be in her office, she don't never plug it up without nobody else in there because she don't ever look at it then. So it's going to be interesting when she plugs her phone up. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to be in the doghouse tonight. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You got to play dumb. Uh, you got a table full of stuff up here. Yeah. Uh, got a bunch of test lights in. Of course, green, orange, and red. Uh, 24 volt, 12 volt. Even some of the cordless test lights. I set them over here, they fall on the floor for some reason. A lot of folks probably like, what are you talking about a cordless test light? Yeah. These things are awesome, just let everybody know. Don't have to fool with the ground wire. Yeah. Hamilton yeah. sold one of them probably about two years ago. And that's the one I always try to get first. Yeah, I said this night, you ain't gonna be able to use it in every situation like you would, or you can't use it in every situation. I make different ones now for different situations like this one. Is a USB or a cigarette lighter, so if you're mm -hmm. working on the inside. Uh, Snap-on's had this version out for a long time. Now with the USB, it went straight to a cigarette lighter. I had, we already sold it. And that way you could use it on the inside of the vehicle, checking fuses under the dash or anything under the dash. 
Now they put them on the USB, which is great because a lot of cars now had just USB plugs yep. and not a cigarette lighter in them That's anymore. That's why new one is. Yeah. Uh, my wife's is like that. They don't have a cigarette lighter in it. It actually has a 110 plug for you can put your cube from your phone and stuff. And then it has USB plugs all over the vehicle. So that would work out for that situation. So here's the two. This is the regular one that you have to... This one lights up green for ground, red for hot. So you can use it for either one. Yep. And this one obviously has the same thing, green for ground, red for hot, but it grounds and everything through the USB plug and gets power through the USB yep. plug. And then you also got 24 volt. It's like all these show 12 volt on there. Mm -hmm. And then you got 24 volt. Uh, actually goes up to 49, but it's ready for 24 volt. Same thing, you got the red and the green, so the ground or the hot. And a lot of people have bought these in the past because of the big, uh, like the pincher on it or the grabber, but you can buy them separately. You ain't got to buy a $160 test light. Right. You can stick with the $100 when I buy a $10 adapter, or you can buy these online probably for a lot cheaper, I imagine. But that way you can get on bigger battery cables. You ain't got to be on the bolt or the stud or nothing like that. You just got on the whole battery Where's cable. the box for the cordless one? Here That's it right there. That it actually goes up. I think Part these, yeah, 24 it. volt is the most you can do on them. Um, I probably wouldn't use it on the 24 volt system since 24 is the max. You probably burn it up if you hit over that. So show everybody how that works. These are, I mean, they're pretty easy. You're the ground, uh, or you're transmitting the ground to it. So, so like if this is the car, and this is the negative side, or this is your ground, and this is your hot side. You, know, you gotta be touching something. You ain't gotta be touching, obviously, the negative battery cover. You can be right. touching the body itself and hit the, the fire and it'll, t it'll light up on the other side. Yeah, those uh, are cool. Yeah, they light up and they beep. We got different ones. They actually got a black one, you got green, you got red ones that vibrate. Uh, the black ones is the hardest one to see. They, uh, I think all got so clear right now. Black ones, they still beep. They don't vibrate, but they got a little S on them that light up. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're neat. But uh, the clear is gonna be easiest to see because it does have a light inside right here. It does have speakers for the sound. Right. The green and red actually vibrate also. It's actually yeah. a pretty decent noise that it transmits yeah, too. Yeah. Those things are really nice. Yep, they are. Uh, and of course, then a lot of people are like, well, they're battery operated so they don't go dead. Well, I mean, it's a battery, it's gonna go dead. Yep. Uh, you don't have to buy a new Tesla. You can actually get your dealer to order, you to order the inside piece. I've had guys that order just a battery and re-solder a battery in. Right. Uh, just cause you can get the batteries, I think offline, we can't get the batteries, but you can get the batteries off of Amazon. Or you can or probably get my Dollar General, Walmart. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, now we've got the batteries pluses everywhere. You know, you can get car batteries in there. Hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -mm. But you can, uh, you can get these batteries for a few dollars. If you buy the interior piece, the snap-on guys will be 20, 25 bucks. Right. But they're easy to operate. I mean, easy to swap out. It's two Phillips head screws. Sweet. And a lot of guys might not know that on the, these, you can swap out the LEDs on the inside of it too, if you burn it up. Because a lot of people will hook them to 24 volt systems if they got them. Or I had a guy that hooked one of these up to a uh, golf cart. You're working on a golf cart. Oh yeah, that's like 36 and 48 volts. 48 volts. Yeah. He, he hit it with the 48. Not only did it burn up the LED, it burned up the wire too on it. The wire looked fine. Actually, I got it right here somewhere. In the, now I took it out. I ended up throwing it away. But the, uh, no, it didn't. Some snap hole signs back there. Uh huh. Everybody needs a snap hole sign. Yeah, no doubt. This like, is man. this wire is burned up. It looks fine, but. He burnt the wire up on it, so we replaced the wire for him. That wasn't a warranty thing. He had to pay for it. Right. And obviously, you hook it to a 48 volt system. It's a 12 volt. He had to pay for it. I'm sure that worked out really well. Yeah. <laughs> he said the brightest that light ever been for about two and a half seconds, and it went out. That's funny. But you don't have to buy a brand new test light. Every piece on here is can be uh, replaced. So even like what I was talking about a while ago. If people don't like the little grabber thing because of uh, they don't open up very much, right? Like that, mm. this just slides down. They want to right now. Maybe melted on the inside after hitting 48 volts. Oh, there we go. 
But you can, uh. What is it? Just unscrew? Yeah, Phillips head screw, and you can swap them out. Yep. That's easy enough. Unscrew that one. Screw this one on there. Sweet. Well, what kind of deals you got today? Uh, we get, this is a snap on truck. We got deals on everything. Well, did you get the new brushless guns in yet? I did not get the new brushless guns in yet. Jeez. Uh, I haven't reached out to. Snap on's getting terrible, aren't they? On some things. Mm. Um, reach out to the guy north of me, Brandon Hickman. He ain't got none. Uh, Keith Hazel, which he's running three trucks, so he gets stuff faster than everybody else. He's probably wanting to hold on to his, though. He ain't got no more. He said he already sold all of them. Dang. Yeah. That's good. He's about, yeah, he got six or eight of them in the first time, but then he sold all of them. Of course, Six or eight of them on three trucks ain't gonna last very yeah, long. That ain't, gonna, that ain't gonna be very long at all. <laughs> no, I could go through six or eight of them in a day on here. Yep. Well, good to see a bunch of test lights anyway. At least, uh, at least something's come in. Yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna go back in here and slave away for the last little bit, and then it's gonna be beer 30, and I'm done. Like D O N E done. D O N E. See how many of them bubbles I can knock back today. Till tomorrow, then I start over again. It's supposed to be cold tomorrow. We'll be drinking hotty toddies tomorrow and beer today. Yeah. Was it 34? Or it's gonna be less than 34 yeah, when you wake high up. It's 34. That's yeah. crazy for so us. What, 18 in the morning when you wake up here. That's gonna suck. Two inches of snow and ice, supposedly. That's what the whole damn world will quit here with two inches of snow. Yeah, that's what you I told my buy wife. a loaf of bread. You can buy a snap on ratchet cheaper than you can buy a loaf of bread this evening. I imagine the Walmart <laughs> and Dollar General is going to be packed tonight. And then, of course, Sunday is supposed to be 55 again. I'm going to save me again Monday. Yep. All right. But uh, it is what it is. Oh, well. Bring it on is all I can say. I stay inside all day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully, y'all picked up a couple of tips about some test lights and different models that they got. It's always good stuff. You don't have a wireless test light it's well worth the money when things are handy like always guys thanks for watching if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount, oh, discount codes is down there and if you're not subscribed click that button y'all have a great weekend see ya